Hello and uh, welcome to this next video on uh, mobile repairing. We've been trying to understand the different faults that arise in a mobile phone and we're trying to understand how we can repair those faults. In this video, we will try and understand the microphone fault or faults that arise because of a problem in the microphone in a mobile device. So let's try and understand how we can replace a mic on a mobile phone. A mic is a very important uh, component in a mobile phone. Mic is the component that takes in your voice and transmits it across to the receiver of your phone call. Unless the mic functions properly, your voice will not be heard by the receiver of your call. And hence, it's important to check whether the mic is in proper condition or not, if the receiver complains that they can't hear your voice. Now, before you get into detecting the mic fault or replacing the mic, you may need to also ensure that you check your mobile phone for any internal settings related to the mic. If there are no problems that uh, arise, and if the settings inside the mobile phone software are appropriate, only then you may need to open the mobile phone and check for the microphone's actual functionality or replace the mic component. Many a times there could also be dust or dirt that is blocking the mic opening on the external cover of your mobile phone. You may want to Clean that to ensure that your voice can easily reach the microphone component inside. This is how a mic looks like. It's a very minute component which is placed mostly at the bottom part of your mobile phone. We did see some earlier uh, uh, videos where we saw the microphone tip and the slot. It's placed at the bottom part of the mobile phone. Now, this microphone cannot be checked using a beep or continuity testing. Now, we did that for components like Ringer and a few other components we will uh, see in future videos. However, since the mic doesn't have any coil or anything inside, you cannot check this using a beep or continuity testing. Many a times you can check the resistance values uh, of the mic, but uh, that may not guarantee if the mic is working properly or if it is faulty. Hence, it's always better to replace the mic if you ever feel that there could be problems with the mic and that's the reason why the receiver is not able to hear your voice. Now, in the board, in the bottom, if you see, there will be two points there. This is called the microphone uh, tip and we have seen it in earlier PCBs also. It's in the bottom portion of the mobile. Now, to place a new mic, you will need to take the soldering iron and slightly wipe off whatever left out soldering is there on these two tips. Once the tips are clear, we place the two ends of the microphone and solder it specifically in this position. Once we have soldered it in its position, the new microphone is now placed. Now, in order to check the new microphone, you may need to wrap up the entire cell phone or uh, assemble the entire cell phone properly and then place a call to somebody and check whether they are able to hear your voice. If they are able to hear your voice, that means that your microphone is working perfectly fine. If not, you may need to further investigate and find out if there are any problems either with the microphone or if there are any connectivity problems on the IC or in the circuit in your printed circuit board or the mobile PCB. Now, let's try and see how we can remove a mic from the PCB. In order to remove the mic, you take the soldering iron, melt the soldering from it and you will be able to take the mic off. Now, to replace it again, you need to clean up the point, remove any left out soldering and then place it back on it the way we did it earlier. Now, one of the things you must remember is while you are replacing mics, please ensure that you get the right category of mic that will work or that's compatible with your mobile phone. 
incompatible mics may not uh, solve your problem. Also, you may want to keep some working mics with you while you are doing any of the repairing work so that you can quickly replace it with your own mic, check whether the mic is working properly or not and then advise the customer about the cost related to the new mic and how it needs to be replaced. This way, you will be able to find the problem in the mic for sure and you will be able to rectify it without any issue. All of these repairing work will require a lot of practice, so we recommend that you keep practicing until you get these things accurately enough. Continue learning. Thank you very much.